Ever since Christy and Bobby Shepherd died, their parents have wanted an apology. Until now, Thomas Cook has said they have nothing to apologise for. Today, after increasing pressure, their chief executive finally said sorry. I'm deeply sorry, as a father myself, about the tragic death of Bobby and Christy Shepherd in 2006 on a Thomas Cook holiday. It is absolutely clear that there are things we, as a company, could have done better during the last nine years. In particular, how we have conducted our relationship with the family. Six-year-old Bobby and his seven-year-old sister Christy were killed when deadly carbon monoxide fumes from a faulty boiler leaked into the bedroom of their holiday villa in Corfu. An inquest found the children had been unlawfully killed and Thomas Cook had breached its duty of care. The company was later criticised for receiving £3 million compensation. Half the payout went to their insurers, but on Monday it said it was donating the rest of the money to UNICEF. Some are now calling for a boycott of Thomas Cook on Facebook and other social media. Thomas Cook has been a travel company for 170 years and says it aims to provide a trusted holiday experience. The question now is whether that trust has been damaged. I think it's disgusting what's happened. For me, for them, it's been a one-off, if you know what I mean, so it, w it wouldn't stop me. I think it would put me off. No, it won't affect them long term. I think, unfortunately, people do forget things quite quickly. Thomas Cook says its bookings for summer are encouraging, but experts say the brand may have been affected. Thomas Cook has the strongest name in travel and somehow it has lost the trust of the public. It is going to have to work really hard to convince people that it's an excellent, well-run company with people who care about having safe, enjoyable holidays. The boss of Thomas Cook says he now regrets the way Bobby and Christie's family have been treated. The company will be hoping their apology hasn't come too late.